What's up, guys? So let's solve this one five one five best position for server entry. And this problem is a little bit uh mess. So I mean, so that's why I I I try to I think it's still uh, need to be filmed. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel. So delivery so basically, I mean, you don't need to answer uh see all this. All you need to know is there is a points. So the idea is that the uh, uh there is a uh, some finite points on the plane, and uh, the goal is to find the uh, the is the goal to minimize this distance. Basically, it's find the x y such that x minus x i square plus y minus y i square, and then take a square root, and then try to minimize it. So you need to find x and y. Okay. So this problem is actually very interesting because the idea is that it, I mean, if there's no square list, right, then you can you can just solve this by just differentiate partial do the partial derivative on each x. And the results will be the center of mass. So in in the in this case, the answer will be the center of mass. Okay, but uh, if you take a square root, then there is no simple rule to do this. Right? I mean, you can do a derivative, but you cannot. You cannot directly solve it. Okay, so actually, this is called the uh, this is in the Wikipedia page. This is called the uh, geometry medium, and uh, uh, there is an algorithm that uh, called this, and then you can use the gradient descent and uh, to do this right but uh, actually there is a uh, paper uh, I think recently called the uh, it tell it give you the the proof basically uh, yeah so let, let me just finish the theory and we will go to the code okay so uh, the, th the theory is that uh, right this is the function that you want to do in n dimension and uh, you can prove that this is uh, you can prove that this is function is uh, convex. Okay, so if f is a convex function, then uh, you can prove that f is a local minimum if only if it's global minimum. So, so basically, uh, that means uh, that means that uh, there's a global minimum for this, and you but you can solve it by using the local minimum. Okay, so our idea is very uh, very straightforward. It's very straightforward, right? You you first initialize the points. Let's say you initialize your zero. And then I say, and then for, and then you just uh, random and you just pick four directions, choose any one of them. And uh, if you find a distance, if you find, find a distance, basically this minimum function, if you find this minimum function uh, decrease, then you just update you just up uh, you just you just you just update a point right? and then you keep doing okay and the uh, first you need to choose you can choose these steps to be one okay but uh, but the idea is that if you find uh, if you find if, if there's a case that if you go go one go one go one go one and then you find that uh, the answer is is this four green points is less than this it's not uh, it's still uh, greater than this origin that means that uh, you need to uh, shrink the step. Also, idea is that uh, right there, this is convex, and then uh, you find a step start from here and the picking, 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 picking. But right, but maybe in here that if you go this, then these two are both larger than this, right? So you need to shrink the step, and you just keep going. And the final, you will you will definitely arrive the local minimum. And uh, and uh, the theory tell you that uh, this function is convex, so local minimum will indeed give you a global minimum. Okay, so this is the theory, and once you know theory, <laughs> once you know it's uh, it's convex function, then you can solve it trivial. So n is the length of position. If n is one, you return zero because there's only one point, and you define distance, right? So distance is uh for every position, you just for given x and y, you just calculate distance. Okay, so initialize the points and the compute the currents and the step to be one, and uh, if step is greater than this, you first say false means that uh. You you didn't find a mean you didn't find a direction that uh, which will uh, make it decrease, and then you choose the four directions and update this, and then you check that where this current new new directions is less than current. If it's less than current, then the, you update the small you update and uh, change the change the coordinates and then define f to be true. That means you find something which is uh, which is uh, larger. Oh, sorry, which is smaller. And uh, if it's false, that means you didn't find anything. Then you can update your steps right instead so divide by two and return current. Okay, so this is just uh, try to find local minimum. But once every time you find local minimum, then the, the theory will tell you that you find global uh, global minimum. Uh, see you guys next videos.